I used to think that in order to attract anything that I've wanted in my life, I needed to grind, I needed to work hard and to push. Our culture and society emphasizes hard work over everything else. And yes, there is some truth to it. You absolutely need to put in some work. You got to develop self-discipline and all of that. But I believe that there's a better way, a deeper way to attract what you want in your life. And that's being in alignment. Achievement is about overcoming. Alignment is about surrendering and allowing. Now, this doesn't mean that you sit around and do nothing and all of a sudden, magically, you attract everything that you want in your life. Instead, it's about finding your dharma and then completely letting go of how everything will come about. Alignment says that all of us have been born with some innate skills and talents. And if we are still and listen to our intuition, then we can be guided on the right path. You correct your mind and everything else falls in place. The road to sustained happiness is through disciplining your behavior. Discipline is a foundation to life. Don't say you can't. Don't say this is going to happen. Don't quantify it and say, well, if I show up, this better happen. Just show up and put the work in. That's it. Get up early some kind of workout, eat good foods, clean your room, make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life, and then wake up in the morning and do those things. That's what discipline is. Discipline, focus, practice, yeah. suffering, push, push, push. And then all of a sudden, you get better and better and better. So be careful that your routine is pointing to where you're trying to get to and you're not wasting time. So I'm looking at Warren Buffett. He says he reads six hours a day. It's not a complicated process, but it, it, it definitely requires uh, discipline. It requires insulating yourself from popular opinion. You just, you simply cannot, you can't pay any attention to it. It just doesn't mean anything. So you gotta have a goal. You gotta have a dream. You gotta get hungry. And then you gotta get real discipline. Because motivation will get you going. A speech will get you fired up. But discipline is going to give you the power to stay committed to whatever that goal is. You need to make the most out of every situation, which means you need to discipline your mind. Stop making excuses. Get after it where you are right now and repeat after me. I am in control of my destiny. Find that self-discipline and stop making excuses and stop depending on other people to bail you out. You've got more fight in you. You've got more strength in you. You've got more wisdom in you. There is no time for excuses. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. It's the disciplined, desperate, dangerous mentality. And I don't care who you are. I don't care where you come from. I don't care what your story is. At the end of the day, you can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then can do that. Not time to be partying no more. Now it's time to create a legacy now. You had your fun. Now get your work. Now build a legacy. Because if you're not disciplined, then there is no business that can be done. You want to be more disciplined? Get after. The official definition of self-discipline is the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses. Also, it's the ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it. See, the problem with you is you rarely exercise your self-discipline muscle. You just go with the flow. No backbone whatsoever. And that's perfectly fine until you start whining and complaining about your lack of success. Whining and complaining about your lack of progress. Whining and complaining that you're not gaining any momentum and you can't seem to get ahead in life. See, self-discipline begins with the mastery of your thoughts. If you don't control what you think, you can't control what you do. So don't talk to me about your failures. 
Don't talk to me about your setbacks. Don't talk to me about the lack of success you are achieving because I'm that one. I'm that one that will tell you the exact reason why you are failing. You're failing because on a daily basis, you fail to exercise your self-discipline muscle. On a daily basis, you fail to sacrifice. You're failing because on a daily basis, you fail to come up with a plan. On a daily basis, you fail to get uncomfortable. You fail to push past your limits. And you fail to believe in yourself. So this is the moment that you stop renting your problems. This is the moment you stop renting your issues. This is the moment that you stop renting your lack of focus. This is the moment that you stop renting your lack of self-discipline. It's time for you to take ownership. It's time for you to own the fact that you're the reason. It's time for you to own the fact that you're the one that's exercising your lazy muscle. It's time for you to own the fact that you're the one that's exercising your do-nothing muscle. You're the one that's exercising your negative mindset muscle. You're the one that's exercising your no willpower muscle. But that's okay, because so many others, include myself, were once in the exact same place that you are right now. And then we sat down and had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with ourselves. We self-assessed and took complete ownership for all of the lack of success that we were achieving. Then we made the decision to flip the switch and made the necessary changes to go into the kitchen of our lives and cook up a dish of massive success. And we quickly realized that a key ingredient is self-discipline. See, self-discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Self-discipline is the magic power that makes you virtually unstoppable. Self-discipline is the center of the universe for success. Self-discipline is doing within while you're doing without. And what that means is when your friends are begging you to go hang out and you say no because you're way too busy grinding hard to put yourself in position to win in your game of life love this quote from the late great Zig Ziglar. He says, when you do the things you ought to do, when you ought to do them, the day will come when you can do the things that you want to do, when you want to do them. See, without self-discipline, success is not possible, period. So I need you to ask yourself, do you have the strength to say no when so many others say yes? I need you to ask yourself, do you have the strength to keep working when so many of your friends are playing? I need you to ask yourself, do you have the strength to keep going when so many others are stopping? I need you to ask yourself, do you have the strength to keep fighting when so many others are throwing in the towel? Because if you can answer yes to all of those questions, you are well on your way to joining the 1% Club. You are well on your way to living the life of your dreams. So now is the time for you to hit the gym of your life and start exercising your self-discipline muscle. No more talk. No more excuses. From this moment forward, it's all about massive execution. Will there be days that you don't feel like it? Yes. Will there be days that you want to stop? Yes. Will there be days that you want to give up? Yes. Will there be days that you want to quit? Yes. Listen to me. Quitting is never an option. So get up and do it anyway. Because when you push yourself to do and you get started, you will be amazed at how all of a sudden you have the energy you need to get it done. Sometimes you have to trick yourself and say, I'm just going to spend five minutes working on this project. You get started and all of a sudden, an hour later, you not only complete it, but you also feel an amazing sense of pride and accomplishment. 
I want you to understand this. You will not always be motivated to do something. So you have to force yourself to be disciplined because those that are undisciplined allow moods, appetites, passions, and temptation to dominate their lives. But that is no longer who you are because you are now officially part of the doer's club. You are now officially part of the winner's club. You are now officially part of the champion's club. You are now officially part of the those with self-discipline club because you now understand that with self-discipline, all things are possible.